Rudiger Rudolf, University of Applied Sciences, Mannheim. Neuromuscular junction degeneration in muscle wasting. All right, so um, degeneration of uh, nerve muscle synapses, also called neuromuscular junctions is a common feature in many types of muscle wasting and muscle weakness disorders. So under these circumstances, neuromuscular junctions change from a pretzel type shape, as you can see on the uh, uh, right part up, um, to a fragmented shape, as you can see on the bottom part. Now, um, congenital myasthenic syndromes is a group of inherited um, disorders that feature muscle weakness and that are due to mutations in genes that affect primarily the formation, maintenance, or uh, function of neuromuscular junctions. Now, in the recent years, <clears throat> it has been found that sympathicomimetics, drugs that activate the sympathetic nervous system, are particularly useful in the treatment of many of these patients. Furthermore, it has been found that a couple of diseases linked to sympathetic nervous system or autonomous uh, nervous system activity are related to muscle weakness. So there is a common feature here suggesting that <clears throat> clinical findings indicate that neuromuscular junctions are actually modulated by the sympathetic nervous system. We studied this and in fact we found that, mm, that neuromuscular junctions are approached by sympathetic neurons as shown here by this uh, tyrosyl hydroxylase stainings where you see that these uh, neurites of sympathetic neurons approach NMJs. Furthermore, we found that this is a regular feature, so all neuromuscular junctions that we looked at in different mouse hind limb muscles uh, showed this feature of sympathetic innervation. Additionally, we studied the um, uh, sig cellular signaling in these muscles by stimulating the uh, sympathetic ganglion in the, um, in the abdomen and found by stimulating these sympathetic uh, ganglia and measuring with in vivo uh, imaging of muscles expressing molecular biosensors that in these cases there is an activation of cyclic AMP signaling and beta adrenergic signaling in the post synapse. Finally, we found that uh, giving systemic administration of these sympathetic mimetics like for example clenbuterol could rescue both morphological features as well as functional <coughs> features um, in, in mice from myasthenic animals or from um, animals that were sympathectomized. So that brings me to this last slide and that is suggesting that there is actually on top of this long known uh, innovation by somatic motor neurons also innovation by sympathetic neurons. Thank you very much.